Guys, today we are going to take a look at uh, a another qu question. So it's problem B in division one, and its rating is eighteen hundred. So, as always, we are going to introduce this problem by explaining the example here. So let's take a look at the example. So in the input, we are going to have a. Uh, number here so the number is uh, the length of the following array so we are going to have an array with five numbers and the numbers are one two three four five and uh, this array is possibly created by one of two people so who are they uh, let's take a look. So um, we have Peter and Alex, right? Um, Peter and Alex uh, uh, both has a initial array one, two, three, four, five, and uh, Peter will do uh, three multiply by n times of swaps on this array, and. Uh, a swap means that uh, we um, choose two positions. Uh, for example, we choose position one and position three, and uh, switch their uh, places, right? So if this array is created by Peter, then we output uh, Peter's name here, and uh, uh, if this array is created by Alex, then we output Alex's name. So these two um, people's differences uh, is that uh, uh, Peter will do uh, this number of swaps, and Alex will do this number of swaps. So how can we uh, determine who creates uh, this array? So uh, let's um, discuss the solution here. So before we um, dive deep into the solution, we need to um, understand a uh, statement here, right? So uh, here is the statement, right? Each swap changes the number of evasions um, parity. What does it mean? So inversion, number of inversion means that uh, um, inversion, the number of inversion pairs. What is a inversion pair? Um, that means we have a number, uh, we have a bigger number uh, in front of a smaller number in this array. For example, two and one. Two is bigger than one. And the two comes um, before one. That's a inversion pa uh, pair, right? How many inversion pair in this array? So uh, we can find uh, two, one, right? And uh, four, five, right? Uh, that's two. And uh, uh, four, uh, sorry, four five is not an inversion uh, pair. So four one is a inversion pair, and four three is a inversion pair. Uh, that's three, right? And five one is another inversion pair, and five three another, right? And that is all we. For this array, we have five inversion pairs. So, um, why do we say um, each swap changes the number of uh, inversion pairs of parity? Um, for example, we have a array here. Uh, it has zero number of uh, inversion pair, right? And we switch this two number, uh, one and three, and we get uh, this guy. 
And how many inversion pairs are there in this array? There are one, three, two, right? One, two, and uh, three, one, three. Three in total, right? So zero is a even number, and three is a um, odd number. So the um, parity is changed, right? So one swap changes its um, parity. Let's uh, take another example here, right? Um, we swap the um, three and we swap this two number. Uh, wait, a sec wait a second. Which two numbers do we switch? Um, actually, this is not a good example. So, let's, uh, sorry about this. And we make another example. So we swap th these two numbers, right? Then we get uh, four, two, one, three, five. So how many inversion uh, pairs are there in this array? So we can find uh, uh, four two, that is uh, one, right? Uh, four one, that is two. Uh, four three, that is three. Four five, no. Um, two one, that is four. Um, that's it. Uh, that's it. We got a four inversion pairs, right? So three is a odd number, four is a even number. Then uh, another improvement of our statement here, right? So um, I actually don't know why this statement is true. Uh, I guess to prove that uh, we need a lot of uh, um, mass, uh, mass background. So let's don't dive too deep into that, uh, we just accept this statement. So with that being said, um, how does it help our uh, solving this problem? So uh, because um, let's take out the two people in our problem. So, we got two people, right? One is Peter, it switches uh, three multiply n times, and Alex uh, switch seven multiply by n plus one times. Uh, a very interesting feature is that uh, these two number uh, parity will not be the same, right? So for example, if one, um, n equal to one, then Peter gets three times, and Alex gets eight times, right? This two number, one is odd, one is even, they are, parity will never be the same. So, um, so um, we can simplify this problem by just uh, look at the number of inversion pairs in this array, right? Because in the initial array, we have uh, zero inversion pairs. And uh, in this array, let's say we have uh, three um, inversion pairs. So uh, three is a odd number, right? And uh, only uh, one of the two peoples can um, create a odd number of inversion pairs, right? So uh, for in this case, 
uh, Peter can switch um, 15 times, right? Because N here is 5. So Peter can switch 15 times. And Alex can switch uh, 8 times, right? 15 is a odd number and 8 is a even number. So um, this array um, has all the number of uh, inversion pairs. That means um, only Peter can create this array, right? So, so solely because that uh, this array has all the, uh, all the numbers of uh, inversion pairs, right? So I guess that's it. So um, for this problem, we only need to uh, calculate the number of uh, inversion pairs in this array and uh, decide it's uh, odd or even, then compare it to, to uh, these two numbers and uh, uh, we can output the results, right? So let's take a look at the code here. How do we calculate the number of uh, um, inversion pairs? So, <coughs> excuse me. So actually, C++ has a very useful data structure here, right? You can just uh, uh, copy paste these uh, two lines. Uh, this data structure can um, easily um, calculate the number of inversion pairs, right, by using this API. So essentially, uh, we are going to iterate all of those numbers and uh, um, put the number into this data structure. And uh, each time, we are going to use this API to get how many um, numbers are um, sm smaller than the current number. Then we use the total um, number to minus uh, the number of smaller numbers. Then that is the number of uh, bigger numbers uh, comes before uh, the current number, right? So that's how we calculate the uh, number of uh, uh, inversion pairs. And uh, uh, when we, uh, we uh, save the number of inversion pairs in this variable, and eventually we are going to compare the parity of the inversion pairs and with the um, two people's number of swaps, right? And output the answer. So the code is really easy here. So hope that helps. Uh, see you next time.